Warning. Serious injury can result from experimentation with HHO or Brown's gas. Children should not attempt anything shown on this channel without close adult supervision. Even some big kids. Please, play it safe. Alright, I'm setting the fourth and final neutral plate on this one side of the cell. I've cleaned this one off with alcohol. I just want to show you this little trick I've got here. I take a piece of painter's tape and I just fold it into a small T so that I can pick up the plate without touching it and set it down into the adhesive that I've applied around the edge very thin. So thin that I'm not worried about it squeezing out into the channel that interconnects all of these chambers that are being created. Lift the painter's tape off and then with a paper towel, clean paper towel, I press the plate, work it in. And there you get a good look now. At the flat on the edge of the plate and how that leaves a gap to the entrance of the channel so that a little bit of adhesive can ooze around the edge of that plate and that plate, the edge of that plate becomes completely sealed. Again, being very careful not to overdo it. I've already got a little bit of adhesive along the side walls that remained after setting the plate down into place, so I'm only putting just the tiniest amount across the top side of the flats that I've ground on these plates. The one thing I don't want to do is I don't want this to squeeze out liberally into the channels. I do have the 12 gauge copper wire in place, but all the same. If you don't have to use it, you shouldn't. And again, my shim with the gas passage on the top and the electrolyte passage on the bottom. It's taken me literally the entire evening to do just this one side. Now the last end plate will go into this side. Like that. The screw will protrude out of the quick quick cap and there's one more C-ring that will go behind this plate. Like so, to finish it off. Alright, I get only one opportunity to show you this before I assemble it, so here it is. There is the inside of the cell showing the, uh, U, the end of the U-bracket that I made. And I'm holding the plate with a piece of painter's tape. And I'm getting ready to insert it. I've already adjusted the height of my backing screw by testing, uh, by testing the fit inside there. So that it's just about a half a turn uh, too close to the end. So that when I put the nut on, the, on this end of it, it's going to actually pull tight uh, just a little bit. So, here goes. The biggest trick is inside getting that screw lined up. And then everything else is assembled inside through that little two inch opening. That'll be fun. Okay, and 
it, set it in the opening. Just going to remove the painter's tape. Press it back down with a paper towel. Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel and I am here in the garage working on the inverted T-cell tonight. Um, unfortunately I did not get around to recording this part of the session where I actually assembled the, the charged plates and the neutral plates into the opening of the um, inverted T-cell, but I do have <coughs> some video that I need to edit and boil down for YouTube. So. What you don't see here on Ustream, you will find on YouTube, but I did want to show you how the assembly is coming together. And uh, inside here, you can see I have completed the U, U assembly, U bracket assembly. The one that you see without the nut on there right now is uh, still curing, and I'm waiting for the adhesive to set. So this side is the one that I just finished. Looking up the two inch opening you'll see that I've got a uh, stainless steel bar that has been very securely fastened to the center of the U-bracket that comes out the side of the two inch opening and forms the positive terminal to the inverted T-cell. It will always remain fully submerged and should not have any, uh, there should not be any danger of any um, detonation of the HHO because it'll be always fully submerged. Daryl Mason was kind enough to send me a piece of actual two inch clear PVC that will go right into the top of the Santee. I'm going to cut this in half because this is the bottom. This is enough for two, two uh, completed assemblies. And uh, right now I'm just waiting for the glue to set up so that uh, I can pull out the copper wires that I have set in the channels to keep them clear of the adhesive from squeezing out and keeping my channels open so that the electrolyte can enter this in between the plates and so that the gas can exit above the plates. That's all for now. Zero fossil fuel. I've been having fun. Uh, I'm going to continue building the bubbler and uh, broadcasting live for my audience. Unfortunately, the steps take so long that it's really not worthy of, uh, of, record of a recorded video. So I'm going to end the recording right now. Everybody take care. Zero fossil fuel. Please be safe. Where's my camera? There it is. Peace. Uh -huh.